Clownfish, also known as anemone fish, are some of the most recognizable and popular marine fish. There are 30 different species of clownfish in the world, and they are found in warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and reefs and lagoons. The Great Barrier Reef off the northeast coast of Australia is home to several species. All clownfish form symbiotic relationships with sea anemones, a cnidarian animal related to jellyfish and corals. Anemones usually attach themselves to a portion of the reef and wait for food to come to them. They have tentacles with stinging cells called nematocysts. The toxins of the anemone are usually deadly to the small fish and crustaceans it eats, but clownfish are immune to the sting due to a mucus coating their skin. Clownfish and anemones have a mutualistic relationship. The anemone protects the clownfish from predators as well as provides food through the leftovers from its meals. The clownfish in turn protects the anemone from its predators and parasites and provides beneficial nutrients and aeration. Clownfish are omnivores eating plankton and algae as well as the remains of animals that its host anemone eats. Clownfish are hermaphrodites, starting their lives as males. Within the group of males, the most dominant individual becomes the next female. After her death, the next male in line becomes a female. Clownfish reproduce through external fertilization, laying hundreds of eggs that hatch about 6 to 10 days later at night. These fish make good parents, looking after their children, with males showing even more parental care than females. Clownfish make up a large part of the marine aquarium pet trade. Some are captive raised, but the majority of fish are still obtained from the wild, meaning that wild populations suffer when specific areas are heavily exploited for the trade. Among the 30 species of clownfish, the most popular is the Ocellaris clownfish, which have an orange to brownish colored body with three vertical white stripes outlined in black. All the fins are outlined in black as well. It differentiates itself from the orange clownfish, a separate species with the same coloration, by the thickness of the black lines. The Ocellaris clownfish has thin black outlines, while the orange clownfish has thicker black lines. The Ocellaris clownfish reaches a size of about 3.5 inches, or 9 centimeters. If you plan to keep them in a home aquarium, they are one of the easier saltwater fish to care for having a peaceful temperament and only requiring a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. They pair well in the aquarium with an anemone and are good reef fish. The popular Disney and Pixar film from 2003, Finding Nemo, features Ocellaris clownfish as two of the main characters. The film in part meant to promote conservation, ironically created harm toward clownfish populations, as the demand for them in the pet trade rose dramatically after the success of the film. The following images show just some of the other species of clownfish. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out another episode of Focus on Species right here. Thanks for watching.